Welcome back to our channel. I am finally sharing our home tour video of our new manufactured home that we just moved into. We downsized from a larger home for our family of four down to a much smaller home. So I wanted to share just some ideas of how you can make use of space and downsize with your family. So right when you walk into the home, we do have a little entryway that has a storage closet for our coats and boots and all that sort of stuff. And then we have another storage cabinet where we keep our keys and other important things just so it's all in one space. And then it has a small hallway down to two bedrooms, a bathroom, and another storage closet where we keep all the girls' arts and crafts. And this is the view that we get to see every morning. So this is a two bathroom home. This bathroom is used for guests and then of course for the girls. So this is where they do their brushing their teeth and daily baths. So the first bedroom that I'm showing is actually Harlow's bedroom, but I do have it set up for both of the girls. They were initially sharing, but just with Harlow not sleeping very well, we do have Rylan in the other room, but when we do have guests, they will both sleep in here. But for the most part, this is just Harlow's room, and then they do have a shared closet in here as well. So the flower decals on the wall are just reusable decals that I purchased on Amazon and they do not damage the wall so they're perfect for a rental or you know if you move a lot and you want to reuse them. So this is the closet that we use for both the girls since the other room is more for guests um, storage and linen storage so there's no room for a proper dresser in their room which honestly I like this better because I think it's safer but I have Harlow stuff all down the left, Rye stuff all down the right and shared stuff in the middle. And here we have the guest room slash Ryland's big girl room so this is a queen bed i just got her some pink sheets and some pink pillows just to make it hers a little bit and then i'll use different sheets for when our parents come to stay with us and she moved in some of her toys and her stuffed animals because we still want it to feel like it's her room maybe once harlow our soon to be two year old is a bit older they can go back to sharing a room but right now it's just it doesn't make sense if we have this room right here and Rylan absolutely loves it as you can tell. So here is the main basically only living area as you can tell it's very open concept it's sort of like condo living in my opinion, um, just the layout and the square footage. So it is an open concept kitchen. We have our dining space and then we do have a couch with a chair. And I bought that Ottoman Use, the brown leather one. And it also turns into an extra seat. The back flips up and we could use that as well if we ever needed it. But honestly, we generally have enough seating. And this is the view we get to see from our living room every single day. It is always sunny here where we live and the lighting is just, it's just so amazing. It makes me so happy in the afternoons. As you can tell, Ozzy also <laughs> loves it. Uh, we are temporarily using our coffee table for our TV stand, but I definitely need to get another one because the coffee table is too small for it. But down the road, we will figure something out. So the storage bench that we have under the window, we made that out of an Ikea shelf. I did a video on it. It just adds some extra seating and extra storage space for living in a smaller home. So if you're wondering where all of the toys are, they are tucked in behind the couch. And I did this so that they had their own sort of designated play area that's away from the living room, but still there, obviously. And if you are wondering where the heck all of our toys are, um, or you're 
you don't think you could do that because you have so many toys we have a ton of toys and what we did is we have them all in bins storage bins which are in the shed outside and we have them labeled and what we do is we will rotate out toys and we get the girls to pick the toys that they're done with we bring those ikea bins out and we do swap them and it's just a great way to keep them playing with toys we get a ton of toys from lovery and they are their absolute favorite so we will rotate them out we were gifted these ones particularly you might have saw the ball tower they just have so much fun with them and it just doesn't make sense to keep them all out so again a great way to rotate out toys is just keep them in bins let them play with them and then you swap them out once you notice that they're kind of over them or getting gr grumpy about them So next to the play area is our small little dining room. We do have a small table, but it's perfect for our family of four. When our parents are here, we will have the girls sit at their little table and then it frees up our seats. And I just keep it very minimal. When you have a small space, you don't want to clutter too much. So off the dining room is the back deck that is currently covered in snow, but there is a fire pit area straight back there. We have a hot tub and a play area for the girl fenced in play area our large shed for all of our storage there is a chicken coop all of that stuff so our kitchen it's a pretty standard kitchen um it's very open we could fit an island there if we wanted to like a mobile one but honestly i like having it open it's just more space for the girls to kind of run around if it's too cold outside or you know it's a indoor snow day but it's exactly everything that we need. Dishwasher, stove, counter space, nice, bright, and open. Tons of kitchen storage for all of our dishes and food. And again, just that stunning view. I don't really technically wash dishes, I just use the dishwasher. But when I am cooking or doing stuff in the kitchen, it's just so nice to be able to look out and be reminded why we made this decision to simplify our life and downsize and not constantly try to upgrade, you know, to a nicer home or a bigger home. Like this is why we are doing it. So in our uh, kitchen, we have a huge pantry. This is my next project. This is not organized at all. As you can tell, it's, it's by no means Pinterest worthy. This is where I need to really invest some time, but for now it's, it's just fine. We have a ton of pantry storage. Off the kitchen, we do have our laundry room. I'm only showing half of it because the other half is our drying rack full of clothes um, and a water cooler and a deep freeze. So I'm just showing cleaner side which is the washer and dryer um, but it is a, a decent sized laundry room and again it fits our drying rack so it works perfect for us and here is the master bedroom so this is a multi-purpose room so obviously this is where Dan and I sleep it's our own space just to ourselves though the girls like to try to come in and play in here because it is extra space but we also use this room for our office I use it for my peg doll painting it's just a great size room honestly for making space when you don't have it elsewhere Dan's guitars are set up here with his amp again the desk that we set up it has a huge walk-in closet right next to the desk I'm not gonna show because it is um, a disaster <laughs> we didn't move not that long ago so this is my peg doll painting station that is perfect that is a huge old watchmaker's desk which I will be refinishing and setting up the printer a bit um, nicer but this is perfect for what I need and it's away from the girls all the paints and everything so off the master bedroom we do have an ensuite to ourselves with a large tub a another closet that has more storage for blankets and linens 
uh, there's definitely a ton of closet space in this place versus our last house which is funny considering that house had more square footage uh, there is a crate there because we do have a kitten and he likes to terrorize the house at night so he does go in there at night temporarily just because he is a kitten so that is it for the tour i hope you were able to get some ideas maybe you've never seen a mobile home before i'm not sure but i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching